Hello, in today's demo, I'm gonna show you how to melt chocolate to either drizzle on the chocolate biscotti or dip the chocolate biscotti. So the I there's two ways that you can melt your chocolate, okay? So first off, you are gonna melt, I believe it is in your um, Golden Gold set, um, the vanilla candy melts, or you have just vanilla almond bar, all right? So whichever one you may have, um, and we don't have it, that's what you need. So this can be found at like Aldi, Jewel, any place like that. It's just fake vanilla chocolate um, it's called Almond Bark. And then this is <clears throat> pretty much the same thing, just in small little tablets. And they sell this at Walmart, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, etc. So I'm going to do this in a microwave. You could also do this on a range. You can take a saucepan small one, put water in the bottom, and then take a metal bowl, place it over the top, turn the heat on, and then the steam will melt that chocolate, okay? I'm gonna do mine in the microwave, so what I'm gonna do is I put the entire bag in a liquid measuring cup. I'm gonna add a little bit of shortening, and if you were doing this in on the range in a double boiler, you would add shortening as well. What's gonna happen, because this is not uh, true chocolate, <clears throat> you wanna add a little bit of this shortening to kind of thin it out and to help uh, just make it easy to dip and to drizzle, right? So I'm gonna put this, and I just did two little spoonfuls. There's no exactness to this, I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's kind of just eyeballing it with texture. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the microwave, 30 second intervals until it gets warm. I'm gonna keep stirring it, 30 second intervals. If you do like two minutes at a time, what happens in a microwave, you get hot spots and your chocolate will burn. So you wanna make sure 30 second intervals, stir after each interval. It's probably gonna take two minutes total, so you'll have about four intervals. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done and when we decorate the cookies. 